I was very much interested in this project based learning since I joined engineering. So from the day one I joined engineering, I thought I'll be building something. But I would at the end of the day end up doing some uh, pre-written lab experiments or some uh, normal work. So I wanted something out of the box to explore the engineering and how it feels like. So this I felt a wonderful opportunity to showcase my abilities in a wonderful platform. My theme was uh, based on image processing. So for any image processing theme, Python is the prerequisite. But till I joined EYRC, I was postponing the my Python uh, learning uh, timetable to uh, some further location. So this made me stick to the plan and learn Python properly. So when I started EYRC, I was beginner in Python. So I started writing scripts in Python to solve my problems, which I used to get from Eventra. So this substantially helped me to uh, develop my Python skills. And today I can say that uh, because of Eventra, uh, my primary language is now Python. Before Eventra, I was actually very much interested in doing projects. I used to do a lot of hobby projects. So I was just uh, deviating my focus towards different fields. And there was no platform for me to showcase that. So after Eventra, it was like a complete training package for me. So at the start of Eventra, I learned Python. Then I learned problem solving skills. Uh, I developed time handling, uh, how to handle stress, how to handle deadlines. My initial problem of focusing on different things was solved because Eventra gave me a task to accomplish. So I dedicated my whole vision on that particular task. I used to give up on deadlines. Maybe if I take up some difficult task, uh, after hitting certain point of the curve, I would be feeling like, okay, this is not possible and not possible by me. I had that attitude of uh, undergrading myself. So once I joined Eantra, I had to do it because uh, my aim was to reach the finance. So that was my goal. I pushed myself to my maximum limits. So basically with Eantra, I explored my potential. Like how much potential do I have to improvise myself and I kept on improving day by day by day and at the end of the six months uh, course I would definitely say I was lost better than what I was at day one. I am no longer scared of new challenges or new problems and I am always ready to put my 120% and try to bring out the best of it. After going through this intensive, I realized the applications or the wide spectrum of the uh, devices which basically works on DSP. So I was very excited to get into this. So initially when I joined the uh, internship, I thought DSP might not be interesting. But the whole environment of Eantra or the even SAP was so good that I fell in love with DSP. When I was allotted a simple project of DSP uh, and creating a MOOC course for it, at the end of it, I discussed with my mentor of improvising something and creating something new. So when I proposed this idea, he was very happy to accept it and also allowed me to do continue with that. So not every organization allows that, that form of innovation to be done. This innovation is something really valued in Eantra. So this is the reason why uh, Eantra is outperforming uh, any other uh, competition as such. I got placed at Amazon for a six month internship and I would definitely say Eantra has helped me a lot. So this Amazon works in principle where they do the interview in the form of star methodology, which is situation, task, action and result. So they will ask you a real life situation uh, and I had to substantiate it with my projects. And on my resume, most of the projects which I had was related to Eantra. And Eantra has given me such situations uh, in my life such that I can substantiate it in the interview. So while explaining my project to the interviewer, whenever I have worked on some project for a six months of uh, span, then definitely I would be knowing inside out of it. In competitive coding, uh, they give you a predefined problem so you need to solve. But Eantra gave me a real world problem which I had to solve. I can like, I predominantly developed a path planning algorithm and uh, image processing stuff. So basically I was making it happen uh, by myself and visually seeing the results. So that was the real problem solving skill which I would predominantly dedicate to Eantra. So without Eantra, I would not have developed such programming skills with Python as well as problem solving skills. So all this together helped me to uh, get an internship with uh, that company. Many students think taking Eantra is a burden for their academics. 
but definitely not whenever you are in engineering you have to explore the maximum potential of yourself so just being the part of the academics won't help you so definitely you can balance academics as well as yantra and in hand so i would definitely say to anyone uh, try 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 out yantra and don't leave this wonderful opportunity and there is really amazing people uh, in this particular organization and try to be a part of it